It's debate day on WIP. It's a WIP afternoon show with Ike, Spike, and Fritz as we roll into the final debate of the day. If you've missed any of the debates today, which started with me versus Richie at 8, and then ESP versus Joe D at 9, then Jack versus Joe Giglio at 11, then Jolly versus Giglio at noon, right? <laughs> and then Ike versus the camera at 3. You can hear them all on the Odyssey app. Just hit the rewind thing or any of our show podcasts. Jack, why don't you take it away for our final debate of the day? And this is one that people have really been looking forward to. I mean, mm. frankly... Who? 2016. Not me. I mean, you talk about peak, peak WIP. Uh huh. Spike Askin versus Howard Askin. And Howard, I just want to confirm, you are not AI generated, much like Al Michaels. You are the real Howard Askin. His his mic is not on. That one's on me. That's yeah, totally okay. on me. Shocking, right off the bat. Yeah. Well, I was trying uh, to make a joke, and now yeah. it completely no, flopped. Just, I don't even know what your joke was. It's it, oh, oh, Al, no, I'm not. You're AI not AI generated. I just want to confirm that, you're the that real was Howard. The joke. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the joke. No, <laughs> Joe DeCamera was AI generated. No, AI generated would have been better. Okay. Uh, okay. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So in one corner we have. We, by the way, the big debate. Can the Sixers, do you believe the Sixers can win a title with Joel Embiid as their best player? In one corner, we have Spike Eskin, who grew up a Knicks fan, mm. is pro <laughs> process and is true. the Embiid defender. And in the other corner, we have Howard Eskin. My also, only credits are that? Yeah. I have so many credits. <laughs> Hired me. The there best decision go. he's All ever right, made. There yes. Go. Yes. Okay. And in the other corner, we have Howard Eskin. Voted number one program director in America. Three. I'm just saying. Like, nah, there you go. Roll them out. Okay, I'm just <laughs> How many accolades? How many okay. accolades? Just, just a few. Okay. Yeah, that's anyway. your past. Right. What about, we're, we're living the moment, guys. Okay. All right. And in the other corner. Already the defendants deflecting early. I'll say this. Uh, Howard Eskin, who on this show is referred to as Daddy, insider of the (laughs) insider of the year candidate, a recent doctorate somehow, Doctor PhD or whatever, King King PhD. PhD. Yeah, and he is an MB denier. We will start with two minutes, two minutes of an opening statement at the one fifty mark. You'll hear this. Dang it! I just 90. oh my goodness! Ah. You oh, are that was just bad, dude. That was really I know, bad. I know, I know. No, just it was the really bad. Has gotten to him. <laughs> nah, dude, hold on. What I labeled it as? Oh my goodness! Uh, hold on. Damn it! It's a free for all. I I know. Oh I tell the guy. God. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, well, clearly. What are you still doing here? Yeah. Yeah, hear that. Yeah, 150. And who's going first? Who's going second? No, we'll get there. Oh, he's frazzled is. now. Yeah, he's oh, lost. Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> you hear that in two minutes? Yeah. All right, well, Spike, why don't you just start then? You got you got two minutes of an opening statement this, on why the Sixers can win a title with Joel Embiid starting now. The 76ers can obviously win a title with Joel Embiid. Joel's time in Philadelphia has been a failure in the playoffs. It's for sure. It's undeniable. The Celtics won four playoff series this year. In his entire career, he's won five. It's been ugly. But don't let it cloud the fact that his mere presence on the team every year puts them in the conversation for a title. He's flawed, but he is insanely special. You look through the history of the NBA, there are a lot of great players, but the number of players who are the best player on offense and the best player on defense on a team that is a contender, that number is much smaller. Right now in the NBA, it's really just Embiid and Giannis. Jokic is not, Luka is not, Steph Curry is not, Shea Gilgis Alexander is not. When you start looking historically, best player on offense and defense on a contender, Jordan, Tim Duncan, Wilt Chamberlain, Shaq, they fit into this class of being a special offensive and defensive player. And speaking of offense, which we take for granted, he's gotten better every year, averaged 35 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists this year, more points than minutes played, which has not been done since Wilt. His defense is game-changing. Despite playing with the, not the most talented player defensively. His defense is top 10 every single year because of him and the minutes he's on the floor they are elite. Won the MVP in 23 runner up in 22 and 21 would have won it this year if he was healthy. We've had questions about plenty of players in the NBA until they finally broke through. Akeem didn't lead a champion, didn't get a championship until his ninth season. He was 30. Dirk, his 13th season. He was 32. LeBron, his ninth season. Barkley didn't get to the finals until he was 29, his ninth season, and had to get traded to a stacked Suns team to do it. His playoff performances, while haven't been great in the past, are trending the right way. On this year, averaged 33 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists. 
the team has always been better when he's on the court. It's fair to mention that none of the other players that I have mentioned had to play with Ben Simmons, be handcuffed to Tobias Harris, or see their general manager openly hate them on Twitter with a burner account. He hasn't led us where we wanted, but he gives us a better chance than almost anyone out there. And as we've learned throughout history, just because he hasn't done it doesn't mean that he won't. Beautifully stated. Howard asking your opening hold it, statement. Hold it. You know what? No, you, it's no it's rebuttals. Not, no, you, no, uh, no. You are not supposed to comment on the comments. Oh, right. You Sorry. are the moderator. Right. My bad. I'll Get be more. Straight, I'll be Get impartial. Straight, I'll be, gosh. I look forward to this, Howard. Everybody else <laughs> thinks the same thing. Don't worry about it. He's just so brilliant, Howard. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's overwhelming. All right. Yeah. Howard, your opening remarks starting now. Okay. Uh, let me deal with a fact. A fact is winning is what it's all about. We are in Philadelphia where it's all about certainly the playoffs, but it's about championships. And the Sixers are last in line with a chance to win a championship in this city. It's about winning. And the Sixers have not done that. In the 10 years that Joel Embiid's been here, they failed to get past the second round. Heck, so did Ricky Sanchez fail to get past the second round. I mean, it's a joke. Uh, So the reality is he's an older player who's never played a full season. Never. His most was 68. He's averaged 55 over the last five years, 55 games a year. And the, re- the reality of an older center, the position of center, you won't find many centers that are 30 and older that are productive in the NBA. You have Shaq many years ago. You have Kareem. Uh, you have uh, Dwight Howard. I'll throw Dwight Howard in there. Do you want me to help you, Tim Duncan? Uh, I just I just want to help you. But he's you. not a center. Oh, he's a, he's he's a center. calm down over okay. there. He's got 30 seconds left. Let him get there. Let oh, him get I, there. I, 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 knew you, I knew you couldn't stop yourself. Uh, Tim Duncan's not a center. So the reality is those players are rarely productive after 30 years old. He not only is 30 years old, he's hurt all the time. And the reality is... They lose in the playoffs, whether he's here or not. That is fact. I, I'm sorry, right Jack, minutes. Are, are we doing a debate about what has happened over the last eight years? Or are we doing a debate about what could happen in the future? Because no I can't tell. The debate. I can't tell. Just about, debate it. Well, I, I can't tell what you're talking about, to be quite honest with you. First of all, players are more you healthy. You don't want to deal with players that. are more healthy. No, you stated what has happened. The debate is what could happen. That's the question. And okay. you talk about players, centers being good after 30 years old. It's happened hundreds of times that centers have been good after 30 years old. Really? Patrick Kim, Ewing Kim, was good. Wait a minute. Uh, Patrick Ewing. Akeem Olajuwon didn't win a title until he was 30. Patrick Ewing was, was good healthy. after he was 30. That's not what you said. You said players aren't good after the centers aren't I good after the rarely 30. Players the greatest are good. centers are good after they're 30. The greatest centers, Kareem yeah. Abdul Jabbar, great after 30. Shaquille O'Neal, great after 30. 30 Akeem Olajuwon, great 30 after 30. 30 Tim ago. Duncan, great after 30. How many ago. guys do you want me to give you? Years ask, ago. The ask game's different, genius. Yes, the game's different, and it's more possible for centers to be good now because they don't have to bang underneath because health and medicine is better than it was. If if Kareem Abdul-Jabbar can play for 21 years or 25 years, whatever he played. 30 Jalen, years ago. Joe, right, and it's easier now. <laughs> no, they, it's not. Yes, it is. Not they for have, center. They have the game's better, different. They have I better health. I hate to break the news to you. The game's different. You, okay. Ask a question, Jack. You sure? Yeah. Right. Well, I just, I just. No, I know. I got a bunch of questions that got okay. lined up here. All right. My first one is for is for the genius. Mm-hmm. Your reaction if if Joel Embiid does win a title, I want and the honest truth. If Joel Embiid leads this team to a title, will you be happy? I do not answer hypothetical questions. Oh. What do you mean? Sir? That's simple. This I'm entire oh, premise is hypothetical. It? No, it's, 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 well, it's based on you're fact. We, you're wearing a Celtics fact, shirt. You're okay. wearing a Halliburton okay. jersey a couple okay. weeks ago. Will here you be is, happy if he leads his team to a title? Uh, here is fact. I'll deal with fact. Joel Embiid has a losing record in the playoffs. Fact. 
Joel Embiid, when he's not playing with the Sixers, the team has a winning record in the playoffs. That's fact. All right. It's what Against, five uh, games? Oh, am I? Am I? Am I allowed I'm allowed to, to talk. All right. My um, name's on the show. I'm allowed to talk. Yeah, but it's a debate. Yes, we and it's a debate. And if you've listened all day, all people have done is go back and forth. Right? How finished. many games have they played? My How many he's games? Got, have he's they, got more brilliance coming. How Can many just... games have they played in the playoffs without Joel Embiid? Eight. Okay. So it's a great That's sample a big size. sample size. It's not, but it doesn't matter. It's a winning record. Okay. Okay. How many games have they played in the playoffs with Joel Embiid? Fifty-nine. Losing record. Losing record against the Celtics. He's three and twelve in the playoffs. By my math, and I'm not sure. You're actually a college graduate. I'm only a doctor. Uh, by my math, well, I'd earn my degree. That's that's a that I earned it with a great career, uh, by some people's standards. Uh, <laughs> but regardless, by my math, three and twelve is a losing record. Uh, I, I'm just saying. I, I'm that just is saying. a losing record. He I, asked I, I you a question. He asked you. I'm looking you directly in the eye. Next year, Joel Embiid plays 71 games, wins the MVP, the Sixers win the title. Are you happy? It's not going to no, happen. No. Just answer the, so no, the answer is no. The answer is no. Yeah, the no, the is answer no. is it's not going to happen. No, that's, that's, no, 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 that's not it. No, I, I just want to know if you'd be happy. It's, it's, it's an easy question. question. It's an easy question. No, Why are you ducking it? Question. Of course it's an easy question. Okay, I'll be at the parade, but, there, but be it won't be for the, the parade. It'll be for the Eagles, the Phillies, or the Flyers well, before the Sixers. So you're ducking the question. That's that's basically. Well, it's a hypothetical. It's a ridiculous. It's question. not. The Flyers have made the playoffs question. what one time in the last decade. You want to talk about success? About the Flyers' opportunity for success? Please explain to me in in very clear terms how the Flyers are going to win a championship. Because they're building from the bottom. Right. Because Jonesy is nice to you. No, no. Or, uh, or Dan Helferty is nice to you. Uh, no, it has nothing to yeah, do with it. Of course it does. Nice. The Flyers haven't made the, play, haven't made the playoffs that's once in 10 opinion, years. That's not a debate. Have, <laughs> give me a question, Jack. <laughs> All right. My, do your job in there, man. I think it's funny. Yeah. Anyway, my, my, my <laughs> question. Moron. My and question. And I raised this clown. Well, well, well. <laughs> let's not get personal in here. Spike, <laughs> speak to the people, because there's a lot of people out there yes, that do not believe that Joel Embiid will be able to stay healthy throughout the playoffs. Why should that not be a concern, or why is it not a huge deal in your eyes? It's a huge deal, and it's a huge concern. Absolutely. His health has been in a, a huge concern the, his entire career. Um, I, I think the biggest reason that I would give you to be optimistic about it is that the management of the 76ers knows that they need a solution to, A, take some of the load off him. I, am, I, I said before, he is the primary offensive and defensive player on the team. It's a load that's too big for him. So I think they need to design a team and design a schedule to keep him healthier during the year. Do I think it's likely? No, I don't think it's likely, but I don't think it's likely that any team wins a championship. It's more likely than not that most teams don't win a championship. My contention is this is the best chance they have of all available options. If you can put a team on the court with with a player who is a consistent MVP candidate who has won the, the award and with a team that plays at a, a 60 win pace when he's on the court, you have a chance to win a championship and a better chance than almost every other team in the league, save for five teams in the league. So do I think he'll be healthy if I had a bet? No, probably not. But is it possible? Absolutely. It's possible. Final question here before we get when closing he's on the court. That's an interesting comment. When he's on the court. Yes, when he's on the court. Which happens less than 70 games every year. Yes, and how many, do you, what do you think of Giannis? I don't, I don't think that team's good enough. What do you think of him? I think he's a multi-talented player. Do you think he's, good, do you think he's good enough to win a championship? I mean, uh, he's won one, right? I'm not, yeah, he's won one. Okay, how many games a year has he played the last five years? Why don't you look it up on your, your phone? No, I'm not looking up anything. Uh, That's right. You don't want to look up anything. Okay. Well, no, you All got right. your computer there because I, you didn't want to challenge the facts. What? You didn't you, want you, to, 3-12 against the Celtics. In the yes, obviously. Okay. I when said that at the top. When he's healthy. I said the, t- the, the Celtics, never healthy. The Celtics the are, are a model. He doesn't of, take care of himself. He, uh, 
He's overweight and always is. Yep. He's, uh, okay. Charles he Barkley. Wait, can I ask you something? Did Charles Barkley come? Just let me ask you a question. You told me not did, to deal in the past, and now did, you go back to Charles did Barkley. Did Charles – well, you won't deal with hypotheticals. So, Charles Barkley, every year he came in to play with the Sixers, was out of shape, correct? I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, you're – you're BSing. Of course, he was overweight. Don't tell me what I am. He I was overweight every year until he got serious, got traded to Phoenix, and when he was almost 30 years old, finally won the MVP and finally led a team to the finals. He got serious. He got better. He got older. He understood what he needed to do. So if Charles Barkley can do it, why can't Joel Embiid do it? Because Charles Barkley has the desire. Oh, uh, of course. He has, he clearly has the desire. Joel Embiid plays for Joel Embiid. He doesn't play for his teammates. Right. He doesn't play for his coach. He shows up at home 45 to 50 minutes before tip off. What a great preparation to get ready for a game. That's all fact. Uh, and so, how can you, and it started from the beginning when they didn't put their foot down and say, hey, listen, these are the things you got to do. And he just didn't do him because he was Joel Embiid. And that's the problem. You can't change that. And when he won the MVP, Jokic won a championship because he was the MVP. Yes, but when Jokic won the MVP, what happened that year? He didn't win a championship. In fact, he got ousted in the second round. Well, that's and common, got, isn't it? And by the way, got thrown out of the deciding game to do it. And I didn't see you parading around with a, a Nikola Jokic jersey talking about how he was going to win the championship. That is fair. That is fair. I get one of those. Follow-up question for Howard. Last one before we get to closing remarks in this fiery debate. Howard, you have talked often about your disbelief in Joel Embiid, obviously the player and, and all that stuff. So with all that said... I would love to know what your plan is if Joel Embiid is no longer here, or your plan is. Well, it has to start with changing the president general manager to get somebody that knows what they're doing uh, to to build a team. Uh, The Knicks did it in a hurry, Uh, and obviously they had people that knew what they were doing. And there's other teams. Oklahoma City built a nice team. Minnesota's built a nice team. So regardless of all that, you need to build the team. The center position is not the key position in the NBA anymore. It's, it's, a, it's a game from the outside in. It's really not a center's game. It's up and down the floor, and that's why Embiid can't play enough because he just doesn't have the stamina to be able to do that. So if you got rid of Joel Embiid, and they waited too long, they should have done this last year because now they can't get – they can get something for him, but they can't get enough. You've got to build a team. As Kenny Rogers once said, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold there them. There it is. Okay. Can I respond to that answer? Yes. <laughs> First and of then all, the teams, the teams that you've listed who have rebuilt so quickly, when was the last time the New York Knicks were in the conference finals? I want to hear about this quick rebuild because I know you're friends with World Wide West and, and, he, and you're, you're in his pocket. Well, no, he works for the Knicks, right? So you're going to be nice to him because he works no, for the I'm Knicks. No, I busted tell balls me, all the time. Tell me more about the quick Knicks rebuild, about when it started and what they've gotten to. Tell me about how quick it was. With one question. When was the, Are the Knicks better than the Sixers right now? The Sixers don't have a, a roster. Okay. I'm asking I you, you a, a question. question. I'm asking you a question. When was the last time the Knicks competed for a championship? You said it was a quick rebuild. Leon Rose has been there for six years. So I want you to know, seven years, I want you to tell me how quick this rebuild is because in seven years, his entire accomplishment is getting Getting to the second round. Let's move on to the next one. Oklahoma City. Well, you want me to answer that? No. I'm going to, because I'm just going to tell you why you're wrong. Right. Oklahoma City. <laughs> tell Oklahoma City. When did, when did Kevin Durant leave? Eight years ago. Tell me how far Oklahoma City has gotten since Kevin Durant left. The Kevin second, Durant's better than Embiid. The second. Much better. 
the second round. Oklahoma City, that rebuilt on the fly after eight years, has gotten to the second round. Tell me what other teams rebuilt so quickly. I just want to know. And as far as it's not a center's league and you can't win with a center, last I didn't year— I say you can't. Last I year, it's not the as best much. player in the NBA, who is Nikola Jokic, won a championship— as a center. So what Tell me are how we many t- other teams oh, win by with the way, centers? Minnesota. You said Minnesota rebuilt on the fly. Please tell me again when Carl Anthony Towns was drafted, how much BS they went through just to get here. They did not rebuild quickly. You're wrong about literally everything that you, you say. You are a big mouth. You can't you're, speak facts. You're wrong. You, you have how quickly you have a personal agenda. No, because you I have kissed a Joel's you're ass here, because you're, he was on your, your he was on your podcast. Oh Joel, oh Joel, you're me. the greatest. I, and then why are you nice Moore, to Charles that Barkley? Loser. Oh, he won in the G League. I can't forget that. He won in the G League. Uh, Daryl Moore. I think oh, your phone's going off. I think your Ricky, phone's going off is. because Joe Banner's gotta, calling. Uh, is Joe Banner calling and feeding you Joe information in here? Years. Right? Uh, it's just you're. you're Again, I can't. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know very quickly about the quick rebuilds from the Knicks, the Thunder, and the Timberwolves, all of whom you said quick rebuilds. Tell me more, Howard. Tell me more about the quick rebuilds. Quicker than the Sixers, who haven't been to the finals. Went since. the Knicks. And let me answer the question. The Knicks got and to the second the, round. Ask me the question. They got if to the you're second not let round. Me answer the question, then don't ask okay, the question. Okay, so specifically, I'm done. tell I'm me done. about. I'm done. You won't let me answer the question. Go ahead. Okay. Outline Quicker how the Knicks have the rebuilt Sixers, quickly. Who haven't been to the finals since 2001. Who haven't been to a championship round since 1983. So it's quicker than the Sixers who can't find their way out of South Philadelphia. That, okay, so again, no answer, no answer, no answer, just so we're clear. I and ju- can't, I just, I just and can't build around a center, even though he won a championship I, last it's year, rare built that around it the happens. center. It's not a center's game. You know, Tim Duncan, once in a while, you got to talk to people, aren't those clowns you have on your podcast, who know you and, and are can I in tell the you NBA, something? You, in the NBA. You wish you've ever done done anything as successful as my podcast is. Your podcast is great. I, I, I can fill concert venues with my podcast. Good, so every time you insult it. A trolling losers. Yeah, a trolling losers who love me, buddy. I know, Who absolutely great. love you, me. that's great. Yeah. That's so, great. There's a sucker born every day. I've heard that before, too. Thousands of them. I know. Ooh, I, yeah. see I see it. Thousands of them. And I'll you're in here in a Philadelphia radio station with a Celtic shirt on talking about... And an Eagles championship ring and Eagles shoes. Eagles championship ring. Well, I guess if the Sixers give you a ring, then you'll talk good about now, them, they're, too. They're not going to get a ring... Right. Not going to get a ring in my lifetime. Right. The Sixers are two to three years away from being two to three years away from being two to three years away what did they tell you? Two, two what they tell you to say about Jalen Hurts today? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I haven't talked. To I'm just wondering. I'm wondering if if the narrative today they, is the good thing or the bad thing. You throw in hypotheticals. We're not a hypothetical. Do we a think team, it's a hypothetical? You, at, do we think it's a hypothetical? You attack a team that's won. Do do we think it it's a hypothetical? Pisses you off? No, because they won. No, it doesn't. And you know Sixers why? Because not. I'm a Philadelphian who cheers for all the teams, uh, and you are bought and sold by the Eagles, and you that cheer for one team. I get more crap from the Eagles than any other team. That's all I'll say. Sure. Okay. Do you need closing remarks? I just closed it. I just closed it. How's that? I'll give you a closing remark. I don't know if you can keep going, sure? but I'll give you a closing remark. Look, Joel Embiid is not a perfect star. He is not who you would design in a lab to lead you to a championship. He's not healthy enough. He hasn't succeeded in the playoffs. And he has been a disappointment as far as reaching the highest levels. That said... He is on a he is in a long list of NBA star stars who have failed to reach the highest levels in the first part of their career. It's Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Akeem Olajuwon. The list goes on and on. Dirk Nowitzki, Charles Barkley. The team goes the list goes on and on and on. The fact is we have one of the four or five best players in the NBA. Not perfect, but one of the four or five best. And the NBA that gives you a chance. So to say they don't have a chance is ignoring what the reality in the league is. I don't know if Joel will bring it, Joel Embiid will, will bring us a championship, but I do know that he can. And it is for that reason that I believe the Sixers can win with him as their best player. 
I rest my case. No shot. No shot. He's never healthy. He's never going to be healthy. Uh, he, for a guy that's seven two to shoot under fifty percent is an embarrassment. But the reality is, it, it's history. You can't dispute history. History has told you he can't play a full season. History has told you he's always hurt. History, if you want to believe history, has told you uh, teams eventually have to make tough decisions and you have to move on. But Daryl Morey's just trying to, trying to get the season ticket holders to renew and keep Embiid there and, you know, all those other kinds of uh, things that are total. Last night he said we're, we hope to be one of the two best teams. And what world are you in? But the reality is – Joel Embiid plays for himself. You can't win with a player. That's why I love uh, Tyrese Maxey, because he plays hard, he listens to his coach, and he plays for his teammates. And that is the difference. I, I will leave you with one quote. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. So ask what the Sixers can do for you. They can lose. Thank Just you. Real quick, who said that quote? John F. Kennedy. All right. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Never a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was, that was interesting. Wait a minute. All right. Go ahead. It was John F. Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I you definitely, just, we're definitely that? not it trusting you. Oh, there it is. Please. Obviously, JFK. Yeah. I'm a JFK's man. Yeah. We all know that. All right. Interesting. It was? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, well, the, yes. That, that was interesting. Yes. Yeah. Mike, who won? Congratulations, Rod. There's who no won? Winner. Yeah. We won. What yeah. do you mean? We won. That, that's an easy... That's easy. We you know won. What? That's the best answer of the whole of the whole segment. Yes, uh, Ike, for a change, you're right on the. Well, right I'm listening. Listen. Uh, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> Amazing that this guy is lecturing Joel on how to be a good teammate of all people. Well, wait a minute, Ike. We get along great now. What yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. I mean, yeah. Everybody has their challenges. Yeah. Right. yeah. Everybody has their challenges. Jesus. I have my challenges with you. <laughs> it, it, it's true. A badass kid. We all have our challenges. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. shoot! I have a thing here, don't yeah. I? Yeah. yeah. Well, don't regroup. Worry. I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> you're seeing red right now. Yeah. God bless. So <laughs> All over that green. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like Christmas in here. What do we have next? Oh, we're just gonna talk. Yeah, about we're just gonna this, talk right? about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Believe me, we got. Howard recap. actually offered yeah. to stay. He wants to do another segment. Well, yeah. two on five. <laughs> two on five. We're gonna bring up childhood. <laughs> yeah. Two, two on five. Five nine two ninety four ninety four. We, we'll talk about it, and uh, and that's it. It's the WIP afternoon show with Ike. Spike and Fritz.